Hello everyone, I am Dia Patel from Iconic Design and I will take you through a tutorial of Handyman app. As you know, Handyman is the most beautiful and powerful photo solution to launch your on-demand service platform faster and cost-effectively. And in this tutorial, we will see how you can configure your one signal setup for the Handyman app. So let's hop into the tutorial. First, we will go to our one signal website and login into your account. Then I will click on the new app button. After that, I will enter the app name that is Handyman user and then I will select the Google Android FCM option and then click on next configure your platform. In the next screen, you will need to add your Firebase server key and the sender ID. So for that, you will need to go to the Firebase console. So here I'm in the Firebase console and then I will select the created app. After that, I will go to the project settings from the project overview from the left side menu. Then. After opening the project setting, you will find one option that is the cloud messaging option. So I will select that and here you will find the server key. So just copy it and go back to your OneSignal website and then paste it. So I'm just pasting it here. We will do the same process for the sender ID. So I will again move back to my Firebase and I will copy the sender ID and then paste it on our OneSignal website. And then I will just hit the save and continue button. In the next step, we will select the Flutter SDK target option and then we will click on the save and continue button. After that, we will just click on the done button. Then select the keys and IDs option from the tab and you will get the one signal app ID. So copy it and then open the Android Studio and open your handyman user app. So in the left side, you have the folder that is the lift folder and in that we have the util folder and in that we have the file name is config.dart. So I will just paste the one signal app id here and then we will again go back to the one signal website and we will copy over one signal rest api key and then paste it in our project for generating the one signal channel id you will have to select the messaging option from the tab and if you scroll down you will find one button that is the add group button so click on it and after clicking you will get a pop-up enter your group name and then click on submit button after successfully creating group, you will see a add channel option on your created group section. So click on it and then there will again be a, another pop-up and in that you will enter your channel name and then just click on the create button. Open created channel and there you will find your channel ID. So I will copy it and then paste it in our code. Now we will have to generate a segment. So for that we will select the audience option from the tab and then we will select the segments option in that. And then I will click on the new segment button. For the customer app you will need to create only one segment. Segments are used to identify the user if they are user or a handyman or a provider. And one of the use case is if you want to send a notification to the user itself. And you can also send it to a particular segment. After that, we will select the user tag option and then you will set your segment name that is uh, user app. And then we will give the key name as the app type and in the value we will set it as user app. For provider app, you will need to have two segments, one for the handyman app and one for the provider app. So for that, we will again make our provider app website. So for that, we will go to our homepage of the OneSignal. Then I will give my app name that is a provider and then I will select the Google Android and then click on next and configure. We will do the same process as we have done in our user app. So we will go to our Firebase console and copy our server key and the sender ID and paste it over here. And then we will click on save and continue. So now go to the Android Studio and uh, select your provider app and then you will find the same files that is the we have first that is the lift folder and in that we have the util folder and in that you will find the config.dart file so here you will paste our one signal app id then again we'll go to our one signal website and copy the rest key and we will paste it in our code so for the channel id we will go back to our one signal website and select the messaging option from the tab so if you scroll down you will find a button that is the add group button and if you click on it you will find a pop-up so give the name of your group and then just click on save after that you will click on the add channel and here again you will find a pop-up so give your channel name as handyman provider and click on create so now we will click on the handyman provider and there you will find your channel id so i will copy it and then paste it in our code now select the audience option from the tab and then select the segments option and then click on the new segment button. 
After that, select the user tag option and then set your segment name as the provider app and set the key name as the app type and in value set it as the provider app. We'll do the same process for the handyman app. So I will just click on the new segment and then I will select the user tag and then I will name the segment as the handyman app and then set the key name and the value and it's done and this is how you configure your one signal setup for the handyman app and now is the right time to launch your on-demand service platform with handyman